Welcome everyone and happy Earth Day. I'm Blair Foltz, um, former executive director of Green Mountain Conservation Group, and now I'm back um, in my art studio, the Green Mountain Print Studio in Effingham, New Hampshire. And last year um, for Green Mountain Conservation Group's Earth Day, we did printmaking at the Blue Heron House, and it was really fun, and people made these wonderful little um, flying window hangers made out of just things that we found outside. We found leaves and grasses, and we printed them using a press and some ink. And today, since we are um, not able to meet together, we thought it'd be really fun if different people could meet in their different studios or outside and talk about something that people could do at home to think more about the earth and think more about nature. And I love the idea that we can actually make prints in our kitchen. So I tried today to find things that everyone might have at home. Um, we're, instead of using ink, we're going to be using temper paint. So if you have um, kids, you can just use temper paint. If you are interested in pursuing this more, you could actually pursue getting some Akua ink, which is a soy-based ink. So everything we're going to use today is non-toxic, and you can find it at home. You'll need a piece of um, plexiglass or a piece of glass to roll up the ink on. Um, you can also use your countertop since this is non-toxic. Um, I just use a piece of plexiglass, but you could use anything that has a nice smooth surface. I have been using brayers which is a printmaking tool. If you ever do wood cuts or lino cuts, um, you might have one at home. If you don't have one for the ink, I actually put some um, Mod Podge glue on a toilet paper roll to just make the toilet paper roll waterproof. And I'm trying to get that to work by rolling it up so you just have a way to roll the ink and roll the ink on smoothly across your plate. Um, so I went outside this morning and I found just some simple leaves um, you can go and find whatever you want from outside. You could also use some tracing paper if you have any, or wax paper works really well just to cut up a template. This is just a little butterfly that I found that you can see through, so we're going to try inking that up. Um, you can also use pieces of driftwood. We're going to do that. And I thought what might be fun is to think about um, making May Day cards to send to friends and family and just say, hey, I'm thinking about you, and what are you doing to help the earth? Printmaking traditionally has been kind of a toxic process using metal plates um, to make traditional etchings and that had to go into acid and the ink solvents had to be turpentine, but the stuff that we're going to use today is water-based or soy-based, so um, it's a way to incorporate art right in your kitchen and um, not hurt water quality at all, which is important for Green Mountain Conservation Group. So, let's get to it. So we're going to start with the yellow temper paint, which I just pour a little bit down out here onto the surface, you can see that, and I roll it up. And then we're going to roll it just simply across the plate, nice even, back and forth. And then the idea is to put the leaves or plants or your template right down on that. And with this, because it's um, water-based, it does dry pretty quickly, so you have to kind of move along. So I'm just putting the leaves down, and what they're going to do is they're going to act as a resist. So where the leaves are, they're not going to print. These leaves actually have a little green on them, so they might print. And the paper I'm using is something you can pick up anywhere at an art store or online. It's um, Sumi Ink sketching paper, but you can also use tracing paper. You can use Xerox construction paper. It doesn't have to be special paper. If you do get the Sumi ink paper, one side is smooth and one side is rough, and I tend to use the smooth side down because we're going to rub it or roll it. You can use a spoon or you can use your brayer. I also like to spritz it with water. If you don't have a spritzer, you can just take a damp, not wet, but a damp sponge and just block it. The idea is to help release some of the Temper paint, again, mostly because it dries really quickly. And then you just gently roll it. If you don't use the brayer, if you'd prefer to use a spoon, if that's what you have, just little circular motions. You can see that. So you're just going around in a circle. And I try to do it kind of clockwise so you don't forget where you were. You can pretty much see what's going on. This is where it's a little too dry, I might spritz it again. Or again, just take your sponge, dampen it over it. And 
with this type of printmaking, we're not using a press. If you were using a press, you would get every little detail. Sometimes you get the color of the leaves. But you're doing this in your kitchen. You're doing it to make it for fun as a card for someone. So you want to think about how experimenting, different types of experimenting you can do. And then we're going to pull it off. And you can see, oh, that tore a little bit because it was too wet. But I don't know if you can see this, but you can see the shapes of the leaves that were here. So we're going to put this aside because we're going to come back to that. So where there's white is where the leaves acted as resist. And that will dry pretty quickly. So what this does is now these leaves have picked up some of the ink. So I'm going to put them face up on the plate. And this leaf, I'm going to turn it over and place it face up. I'm also going to ink up a few more things with a little of this green. I had some um, dandelions and some four leaf clovers that I, not four leaf clovers, but clover that I picked up. I'm going to put that face up. going to use the Xerox paper so you can see that that can work as well. Same thing, a little bit of spritz or your sponge. And the idea is to get nice, even pressure, and you're basically just trying to transfer all that paint into the paper and get the texture of the leaves. And any residual texture that the leaves actually left as a mark on the plate. see this one came out a little better you can see and we're going to try one more and this time what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the blank plate and I'm going to ink up these leaves and put them onto the plate so we're going to pour out a little more ink tempera again to mix up the green, I only had yellow temper paint, so what I did was I put a little blue food coloring into the yellow. Blue and yellow makes green, and that's how I got the green. So now this ink, is this paint is all over this leaf, and I'm going to place it face side up on this plate. Same thing with the oak leaf. I'm going to green temper paint on that, ink it all over, and then I'm going to also place this face side up on the plate. I'm going to peel off the little weed that I had, and you can see it too has picked up some ink. I'm going to place that on here. This one too has quite a bit of yellow still on it, so hopefully that will print. And I'm going to put this one a little bit overlapping, so we'll see if that will print. Again, I am using the smooth side up. So I can rub it nicely. Tiny bit of spritzing of the water. And then nice even pressure with the spoon. Again, circular motion with the spoon. There's another one. So we have a bunch of different ones. 
This technique is printing by inking up the leaves, putting them face up on the plate, putting the paper down, spritzing it, transferring. And this other one was the opposite way. So it was putting the leaves down and then transferring. This is a little harder to see, I think, in the video than if you see it in person. It's quite beautiful in person. The final thing I'm going to show you is taking this nice piece of driftwood. I'm just going to ink this up. And the fun thing with this type of printmaking in your kitchen is usually I cut up a bunch of paper, might cut up 20 sheets of paper, and then you just start printing on top of the paper you already printed, and you see what kind of neat card you can make for a friend. So I'm going to take this piece that we already printed, and I'm going to just place it on top of this, and I'm going to roll it and transfer that So there's kind of a sense of what you might find on the beach. You might find a piece of driftwood lying on top of leaves. And there's still some residual paint on here. We can actually print it again without applying more of the paint. It'll be much more faded. There you go. So I hope you try doing some fun things when you're out and about, maybe finding some really cool cattail leaves, um, skunk cabbage, or anything that's coming up, dandelions, flowers, and just try inking them up and printing them. You can also always print your hands. That's a really fun thing. Happy Earth Day. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.